We are in New Orleans and in this house behind me is our local family that we're gonna stay with for 24 hours. So I'm not sure if the family is here. I think Kendra, my adopted mom for the days, is went to the parade, so she just told us to go in. Never done this before. All right, nobody's answering. I think. Okay. Doors open. Hello. Hello. Okay. Wow. Well, <laughs> I'm literally just walking in. Here, let me uh, text Kendra to let her know that we are here. I feel like we should maybe turn the lights on so that when they come, like they can see <laughs> who we are. It's so strange just being in someone else's this home. How do you feel, Fomi? Uh, it's new for me. I don't walk up into people's houses. Definitely don't show up whether or not I hear before. I think this this might be Kendra and her her husband. I believe they have kids as well. I think now we're just waiting for the husband to arrive. Do you know his name? No. You didn't ask her. <laughs> she, she, we're gonna say hello, husband. <laughs> All right. Just chill here. This is definitely the most unique start to a living with a family video. How long has it been, Martha? Almost an hour. Sometimes if you just like step out really quickly and say, I'm really sitting in a stranger's home right now. I just followed Marky on, on a plane. Also hangry, a little hangry. So it's been two hours now since we've been at their house. It's, it's now a little bit worrying. We have uh, one contact in New Orleans. I haven't met her before, but her name is Alex. She's been really helpful. So I'm gonna call her to see if she has any ideas. This is so strange. What's going on? I am starting to feel a little strange too. It's getting dark and yeah, at least it's still... cold and stuff. I just I don't know how much like do we wait three hours, four hours, or do we just leave? I got a call from Alex. Hey Alex. Hey hey Alex. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you Ubering or driving? Ubering. Okay, yeah, come to the address that I sent you. Okay, awesome. All right, we're getting an Uber? Yeah. It is 5.47 p.m. and we have not eaten. It's not ideal because we, w we want to have this experience with a local family. We don't just want to be tourists in New Orleans, but I guess, I guess we don't have any other option. I think we have to go with the flow. Closing the door leaving it unlocked because uh, that's how we found it. So we're going now to the back to the city to see the parades for the first time. Don't really know what to expect. Chantel, yes. are you from New Orleans? Yes, I am. What should uh, we expect from the parades? So today is like literally Mardi Gras. When it comes down to Mardi Gras, these are the parades. This is the, the weekend. This is the day you want to be. Oh, wow. You flow with the night. Let the night take you. Oh. We just landed today. Mm -hmm. We are doing kind of like a video challenge where we stay with different families around the US to learn what it means to be American. Okay. What are the chances that we could find someone and just ask them? Well, no, the Orleans. locals are gonna let you in. They want you to think? I would, I don't live here anymore though, that's crazy. I don't have any kids either. I'm gonna let you guys in. We don't have any hotel booked tonight, so we We, gotta, we have to find yeah, somewhere, we have, yeah. We, have to find <laughs> we gotta do something. I'm like, a little worried? I'm very worried. <laughs> I'm highly concerned. We're going this way, so I'm gonna let you guys out on this side. Thank you, Chantal. We appreciate you okay. so much. Okay. Okay, so we just got out of the Uber. The struggle here is that because there's so many people, there's no internet connection. So it's really hard to communicate and find Alex. Look, there's the, uh, the floor over there. I think this might be Alex. Yeah, so everything is pretty much gone by now. Any food trucks or like... No, not right here. We're a little hungry. 
we, we don't know we're gonna stay tonight. So okay. that's kind of what's going through our heads. I hope you get what you're coming here for. The main thing that we wanted is to learn about New Orleans culture from like a local standpoint. Like I didn't want to come to New Orleans as a tourist. You know, I want to know. And you've been here a lot. With food, I got you. What about history? Like history, I don't got you. <laughs> I really want to go back and catch their parade. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> All these float babe build every single one of these like every year. And they only use them for one year. Have you ever been to a parade? Oh, so. <laughs> oh yeah. You're in for it. Yeah, don't be intimidated. It's amazing. We're, we're walking through the parades right now. I haven't eaten anything all day. I only want to eat New Orleans food, but there is none available right now. So this this guy has been kind of a mess. Fomia, how do you feel? I feel like you're being ridiculous. We should at least put something in our bodies so that we can continue. With the three kings, they have a parade and they throw hard candy at you. So I'm used to being <laughs> violently attacked with candy or sweets or objects. It's gonna sound like a really simple question, but what is Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras started in Mobile, Alabama. For what reason? I don't know. But oh! Oh! Do you know what the, what does it mean to me? Do you know? Uh, I, oh no, no. It's just a competition about okay. who can get the best beans. I still don't know what Mardi Gras is. I want to. I want to ask someone when it's not so loud. But first impressions, if I'm being honest, like cool. I think I'm. I'm just like flustered with everything that happened today, and I. I only care for food right now. Like yeah, I'm just kind of all over the place right now. Oh my god, that was a lot. <laughs> We're heading out to uh, get some food. Like I'm kind of over it. Finally, gonna get some food. Oh my god! <laughs> we were like, I don't think they're gonna even make it here. <laughs> we finally got our food. This is the first meal I've had today. I guess we'll have to prepare for what we're gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. Okay, me too. I'm hungry. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful in here. So Alex has kindly let us uh, sleep over, which is such a big help because we it fell through with Kendra. I think there's, there's a couple uh, air mattresses, yeah, air that we're mattress. gonna pull out, so. How are you feeling? It's midnight right now, and what a strange day it's been. I know we have our, our parade in the morning. It's turning out quite different than what I expected it. It's eight. Eight o'clock. All the beads from yesterday. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a recycling. <laughs> Alex is looking glamorous, mm -hmm. ready to to march in the parade. Just picture. It's raining outside too. Oh, wow. it's raining pretty hard. The rain has stopped, which is nice. It's still cloudy. I feel like we should take, we should get food now before. We're gonna. There's king cakes. We're gonna try that out. Never had that before. Do you know what, what the king cake? Is, what the story is, or like, what what is it for? Is this just cake? Like king cake? Uh huh. Is there a reason why people have it, or? It's a Mardi Gras tradition. Yeah. 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 Where the tradition came from? No clue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's good, we don't question it. Traditionally, in the big king cakes, they put a, a baby in the bottom. Whoever gets the baby buys the next king cake. The colors are nice. Ooh, is this a cinnamon bun with icing? Mark Hi, I'm the first of all. Nice to meet you. Oh, one of the captains of the Abdul um, Bond the girls who are marching in the parade are kind of gathering here before. The costumes are really cool. This is like an all ages, it's 21 and up, all female crew. Oh. Like, yeah. I still don't really have an answer. Maybe you would know what, what actually is Mardi Gras? Do you know? How do you describe Mardi? It's like a big street party. Is it just one day 
someone was like, let's have a national or a, a, a day where we just party. Is that I would have to look it up, but it's called Fat Tuesday. So, you asked about like what Mardi Gras? Okay, so Fat Tuesday is basically like the last day to like get all of your like sinning done so that when you're absolved of your sins on Ash Wednesday and you're ready for your 40 days of cleanse, where you usually give up something like a vice. You know the most that anybody we've asked to oh. like, this whole time, like, it's a party. And, and I'm from Michigan. <laughs> We spotted Kendra, the woman whose house we were in alone for hours that we flew across the country to meet and have been trying to contact for a day. Yes, that's the Kendra I'm talking about. Hi. Hi. Did everything work out yesterday? Oh my god, it was just when you was coming in, I was leaving out. What I would do is hang. This is the early parade, like I said, it's gonna be over early. And we can roll after that. Yeah. Because right now I'm about to go shake my yeah. fun and nice and I hope that we can spend time with her because she seems like a really like local person. Position now. They're getting ready to, to get in formation and start walking. It does feel really special to be like in the middle of this. Like the energy is contagious, you know. Oh my God. People in the U.S. don't know me, so that's awesome. We're walking through the streets of New Orleans right now. This is a rare occasion. This is really like the best way to experience this. We did it! We made it until the end. What a special way to experience it. How are you? Everything is black though. We're probably gonna get some food. If you're down, let us know, no okay. pressure. If I get hooked up with my car, I'm good. All right, so we're gonna go get some food finally. The, the food aspect of this trip hasn't been ideal. I don't know, am I, am I like being negative? I think you're being very specific. We have an idea in our minds of what it's supposed to look like instead of just like surrendering. Right, because we've, we've done it four times before with other but families. But those families, we had we had a completely different experience with. Like we communicated with them much more in advance. Like this was super spontaneous, last minute. Okay, well, I'll try and be as positive as I can, even though things aren't going to as planned. We still have the rest of the day, so let's see how that that works out. Okay, finally, some local food. Let's see what they got. They should be here shortly. The crawfish food truck that's supposed to be here, it's still not here. It's, look what time it is. It's 4 p.m. <laughs> I just want crawfish. Some food. Okay, I think Kendra's outside. Let's go meet her. You moved around. You really tore it. So what, what do you uh, What do you want to do? I just want, to I just want crawfish. You just want crawfish. Okay, if you're buying it from him. We can go anywhere. That's how it's going to take you to a restaurant. Me. My car is dirty. Oh, that's yeah, trying to trying to experience, make the most out of our New Orleans trip, yeah, you know? You should. People love it. When you're from here, though, it's different. How do you feel about it being from here? New Orleans? Yeah. Um, I need to go. You need to go? Yeah, I need to go. Touring is a beautiful place. Don't uh -huh. get me wrong. Living here, man. Have you, have you faced any encounters? like Crime? With the crime? Yeah. Um, All my male cousins. Are alive. Uh, all my brothers are alive. And a lot of women can't say that in New Orleans. Really? Oh man, funerals are, that's the shit here. Really? Funerals are the big celebration here. 
Can like, you believe that? Why Why is it a big celebration? Because that is, is big. Yeah. Like planning a funeral here is something like a girl will plan her wedding. Yeah. When I'm aware, with the children going to wear, they're going to have a second line van that's going to take the casket with the person in it. Mm -hmm. We're going to get in the middle of the street and we're going to cut up with the casket. What does cut up mean? Cut up mean I'm, we're going to dance. Uh. They're going to hit the casket. They, they're trying to wake the dead. they they going to cut up. I could live on this block, and this block right here could be Killville. And I could live two blocks down, they're walking their dog, they're sitting on the porch. It's big on murder, and then it's big on hospitality. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. He's been complaining about it all day. Yeah. You never had it. No, no, not, not really. Kendry said we're, we're on list. Yeah, we're on it. It's in New Orleans. It's in New Orleans, cheers. <laughs> Oh, it's strong, right? Yeah, it's strong. Apparently, drinks are, are stronger in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. They want to F you up. <laughs> What's your favorite seafood? Smoked crabs. So, what do you mean oysters? You don't eat them raw. No, I don't eat them. Oh, my God. That is so, horrible. So, what do, you, what do you eat yours with? How do, how do you eat yours? You never had it on a piece of French bread fries? <laughs> <laughs> he weak. He said that he only had oysters raw. Baby? He never lived. Do you want to go sit down on the table so we can all like talk? I'm so happy that we, we got to like at least be together right now. Yeah. Like, I feel like I learned more from from our car ride than I did from the whole trip so far. Really? Just hearing your story, your perspective. I didn't want you to get nothing fake. Kendra, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Mark Ann has been trying to find his family for a while, and Alex was telling us she's like, you might have a hard time here because when she put it out in like a Facebook group, what he was trying to do, she was getting a lot of messages and she had to take it down. Like people saying like, oh, culture vulture or like. Colonials. Yeah, like, well, I mean, like, and those are, that's real. Like we have to acknowledge that. What made you say yes though? Like when, when you first heard it, even agree to take a call with him is my question. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I want a white friend. I don't have, honestly, a white person in my contact list. In two, 2022. Really? I don't have, I can't say I honestly have a white person in my, and that's, the bombshells, as you can see, that was a lot of white girls. Yeah. I don't have no white girlfriends. I wanted to see, you know, how to communicate with them, to, to show them how to communicate with me, to, to teach them too about us, you know what I'm saying? Because maybe their outlook is totally wrong too. How do you feel about racism? It's something that I didn't comprehend or really understand until two years ago, to be honest with you. I didn't have exposure to black people, really. The only black people growing up that I would know was Kevin Hart or Will Smith, like celebrities. But I didn't understand the difference between overt and covert racism. Okay. Meaning, I thought slavery was like, you know, like we're past that, but actually there are a lot of like covert signs of racism, which is like when there's a black person coming in, you like clutch your back. That's yep. a sign of racism. Yeah, yeah. That really shifted my perspective. And when I came to the US and made some black friends, like I was like, oh, wow, you guys like actually do still face a lot. But Kendra, I just want to say, this has been like the highlight of the trip, this conversation so far. I so I really appreciate you just opening up and sharing like your story and your experiences with us. Well, let's go get our food then. Okay, okay you ready to eat, Mark Allen? Yes. I think um, this is our only like New Orleans meal. You need to do the oysters then. You might have to do the oysters. oysters. You're gonna have to. Let's do the, let, I'm done. Let's do the oysters. Oh, yes. See, this is what I was talking about. This the char grilled oyster. You definitely don't look raw. <laughs> you definitely don't look raw. <laughs> you, you gotta eat one too. I'm gonna definitely eat one. Eat it after you. I wanna see you eat it. <laughs> look at that. Fried, buttered, and cheesed up. <laughs> What's going on? Tell me how you feel. It tastes like an oyster flavored pizza. Are you serious? That's what it tastes that's like. That's a good thing. It's, I think that's, that's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? I love pizza, that's what it is. It's a good flavor. Wait, why is it in the back? Because you take it out of the bag and you pour it in the tray. You gotta get in there. I don't wear gloves. Do I need to put any of this bib that's stuff? Put the bib on. Right Are you sloppy? I don't think so, but if the food is messy. I don't do all that. Just to be safe. Just yeah, to be you can safe. be safe. My first time. Like this? You like a kid. <laughs> so I, what, I open this up first. Open it up, dump it all out on that tray. I'm gonna take gloves. 
Big fish bait. Okay. Big fish bait. Woo! Big bait is boiling. I'm following your instructions here. Yeah. Because all you. So Ooh. the full experience will be to, of course, eat both of these. There's meat in here, but they're small, so what you do is you just kind of chew it up and just suck whatever you can get out of it. Oh, you gotta bite the shell off. So I got both legs. Okay. The next thing is you pull this out. Right there. Pull the tail out, and I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. Suck on the head. dry. Oh, wow. I might chew it. Mm. Please let it be known. <laughs> it's a lot of work for about that much meat. That's what we're working for. That's <laughs> right here. This is the main part. This is definitely an experience. I got shrimp too. You want shrimp? I'll try shrimp. Oh, I feel, I feel good about this one. Yes. That's when it boils right. Uh, oh. Continues. We're just going with the flow. It's working out. I'm happy right now. We're getting beignets at Cafe du Monde, which is like a famous beignet shop. And it's live jazz. This is the real New Orleans experience. So three per order, right? Yeah. So we should we get two orders, so six beignets total? Yeah. Oh my god. You're gonna have white stuff. Here, get your napkins ready. Yeah, get napkins ready. Yes. We got some beignets. We're also here with Terrence, Kendra's husband. The love of my life. <laughs> We met in 2002. Yeah. We lost contact. Lost con contact. Came, came back in 2006. And never lost contact again. I think Terrence loved me from day one. I told her she was walking past. I said, man, you're going to be my wife. He did. Oh, wow. He did. What were you thinking when he said that? He's out his freaking mind. <laughs> 19 years old. That's how old I was. And wow. I'm 39. Wow. Well, I was what? You was 23. And I'm what? 43 now. 43. Is there a way to eat this or is it just... No, oh, you just put your right. hands and make that match. What do you do? What do you do? Cover it up like this here. And Shake it up. Get all the... the get all the pot. Sugar, yeah. Howdy. All right, Afomia, here we go. It is just bread and sugar. Yeah, it tastes good. And look, I already got on my pants. But that's what you get for yeah, wearing black, right? Yeah, Woo, Markeon! The, the purpose of, of this series, like why I'm actually doing this, why, why am I staying with like different families around the U.S.? I want to learn what it means to be American. Okay. My mom is American, but I didn't grow up in the U.S. I'm curious to hear what what does it mean to be American as a black person? Being a, a black American to me right now, it's, it's kind of hard. Being a part of the real life grimy working class, yeah, it's hard. And you're judged off your past. We can't have more than you, but we, we trying to make it. So give, give, give us a chance sometimes. I've been here 39 years, and the most money I ever had in my whole life was, I could say it's $20,000 at one time. But your spirit is, can't be broken. And that's what I don't allow to happen. I don't allow my spirit to be broken, and I'm gonna keep on working to, to do better and better, and I'm gonna get where I'm going. Like a lot of people, white people only have like white friends. They don't have black friends, they don't understand kind of like the, the struggles that people go through. They don't know, they don't totally They're scared to, to, to indulge in your, your problems. Once you do, doing what you're doing and get to know, I think this is such a beautiful video of like just cross culture and showing what real conversations can be like without judgment or without jumping to conclusions. One, two, three. New Orleans! New Orleans! New Orleans. Downtown, uptown! <laughs> Middletown right here. Middletown! <laughs> Mid city! <laughs> Y'all got me doing stuff in my own city that I haven't did in a long time. Thank you, thank you. So, you know, this is, this is nice. <laughs> Have you had uh, like conversations like these with, with like other white people at all? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 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 if it is, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm, really? I'm, I'm, I'm being really honest with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If sit down and talk to another white person, it's on some job shit. It's never like. My we friend. never equal. Yeah, we it's never, never equal. equal. Yeah. I, have a, I can't say I had an equal conversation with a white person. A ever. long time. Ever. I never, this is, this is it right here. <laughs> I officially have my first white person in the phone. Okay. Mark, yeah. yeah, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we Take care. Right. Thank you so much. Have Bye. Have a good one. I love you too. I love you too. Oh, we do love you, Kendra. Yeah, we made 
it. Wow, what a crazy ending to the day, right, Fomia? Yeah. It's, it's pretty shocking to hear like that Kendra didn't have a white person's contact in her phone. I personally don't find it surprising at all. I know a lot of people where I'm the only black person in their phone, or I'm the only black friend that they have. Maybe in the past you would look at someone like Kendra or Terrence and not know what to say to them or be able to have a conversation with them. At least now maybe it opens you up to like, hey, like, they're human beings just like me, even if we're not friends or even if we don't know each other and if we can have empathy and compassion. Maybe it's the beginning of being able to solve things. Well, I'm, I'm happy with how the trip ended. Do your hands smell like crawfish? Yeah. Ugh. Well, our, cra our hands smell like crawfish. We have beads that we don't know what we're gonna do with, but we made it to New Orleans. Il faut continuer à sourire et à tout à l'heure. A little What mix. does that mean? Well, like keep smiling and see you later. Like you gotta mix all the like, you know, so I thought it was fun. <laughs> you know. I hope they keep that in. Yeah, I hope they keep that in.